since we've got some pretty weather and it's nice outside, you probably are starting to get flower fever. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how to know that you're getting the right plants for the area that you want to put them in. And so I am by no means a horticulturist. I am not an expert when it comes to plants. All I know is what looks pretty and you can see back here what I like. Um, I particularly like bright colorful plants. Perennials are great, but a lot of what I put in my containers are annuals and there's nothing wrong with that. But you need to always make sure before you go out and you buy plants, because let's be honest, they're not exactly inexpensive, that you're getting what will work in the area that you want to put them in. And the best way to know that is to read the plant tag. So I have the plant tags for both of the two plants that I have back here. Um, the first one, the yellow one is the sunflower. And basically when you read on a plant tag, you need to have an idea of where they're going to live. So this particular pot is going to live out next to my mailbox. It is in full sun. Um, I am not the best at watering plants. So any species that I bring on to my place needs to be drought tolerant and that type of thing. So you need to figure out what works best for you. Are you a water every other day, a water once a week? Uh, I might remember to water it three days from now, you know, Keep those things in mind before you pick out your plants. So I did all of that. And where this pot is going to be is in complete sun. So this one, this little sunflower variety, it is a continuous bloomer. That's something else to keep in mind that you can find from reading the plant tag. Um, I particularly like plants that bloom all summer long. I don't want to spend money on them, then bloom one time and then we're done. Um, so this particular sunflower, it blooms all summer long. It is meant for full sun. It gets somewhere in the neighborhood of a couple of feet tall, up to three, three and a half feet tall. And so the pot that I've got it in, the place where it's going to be living, it can grow that tall without being a nuisance or a problem. Um, water, it likes to be watered every other day, which most of the time I can manage. And it's only maintenance according to the plant tag is that it needs to be kept weed free. The other plant I have in that particular um, planter is a petunia. And this one is a super petunia, basically. And if you look on the back of its plant tag, it has a lot more information on the back of it. And I don't expect that you can read that. Um, but this one, it has that it likes full to partial sun. Uh, deadheading isn't necessary. That's important to me because it's low maintenance. That's something else to consider. It grows to be about two feet tall if it were to grow straight up, but we all know petunias kind of wave and mound over. Um, blooms all summer long, so they're good to go together. They are annuals in every zone above 10. So we're a 7A here, and uh, we are definitely in a zone where it will grow. That's important because we talked about that with fruit trees and that we want to make sure that before we make that investment that they can actually live and thrive here. And so this particular plant, our petunias will grow here and they're cold hardy down to 30 degrees Fahrenheit, which means they're going to bloom clear up through the fall, which is always good. And they have similar water requirements to the sunflowers that are in the pot. That's important to remember, they're in the same pot. You can't not water one without watering the other. Uh, let's see, what else is on here? Oh, fertilize. Fertilize it regularly for best results. Um, and that it's easy to care for. So, just a real quick reminder, when you're picking out plants for your landscape, whether they're annuals, whether they're perennials, make sure you read these little guys first. Know what kind of plant you're getting. Know the area that you want to put them in so you will be successful with them and then care for them properly. That's my struggle anyways. Happy planting, y'all.